Okay, so when I was a high school teacher, I heard all the time that everyone should learn to code, and it was never really discussed why that might be the case. And so I wanted to talk about one really good reason for learning to code. Now, I don't believe that everyone should learn to code, but I do think that learning to code can bring some really significant tangible benefits to just about any uh, just normal day-to-day -day kind of office job, and I'm gonna be talking about one example right now. So this example concerns my wife. She works for a summer camp, and one of her responsibilities is to update the website with the new wait list every month. So the camp has a wait list every month. It was her responsibility to go in and update the website via a site builder, but she was having to write raw HTML. And so essentially what her workflow was is that she would get a database report in the form of a spreadsheet. She would open the spreadsheet and go row by row and fill in the same snippet of HTML with certain values from each row of the spreadsheet. It took me quite a while, but I realized that this is the perfect task for some code. Basically, anything that you're doing that is extremely repetitive and predictable is going to be a great task to give to a computer to do for you. So I realized that this is probably something I could automate pretty quickly, and so I set out to do that. So basically what I had her do is just give me an example database report as a CSV, and then I wrote a Node.js script that takes the CSV and outputs each line in the formatted HTML that she needed in order to update these waitlists. When all was said and done, the only thing that she would have to do is open the HTML files, copy and paste the contents, and paste them into the site builder and just update the web pages that way. So this was really cool and I was basically saving her four hours a month uh, with this little script that took me an hour to write. As a side note, if you're a software engineer, if you can solve someone's real life problems, I found for me, that's like one of the most exciting things about knowing how to code. So pursue those kind of opportunities. Back to the story. So uh, this worked really well for a while, uh, but the only downside was that every time that she needed this new HTML, she would send me the CSVs. I would have to get the CSVs, download them, bring them into the repository, run the script, get the HTML files and email them back to her. And so uh, we were basically at level one automation, but I realized that I was getting kind of tired of this. And so I thought I would kick it up to level two. Uh, and so what I ended up doing was using the Node.js script that I'd written previously and uh, spinning up a Node app around it using Express. And so basically what the result is now is that it's a very, very simple HTML page with no styling where you can upload the files assuming they're formatted correctly. Uh, it hits the Node backend, runs the script that I wrote originally and returns to the client, the browser, uh, the formatted HTML. If there's more than one file uploaded, it returns a zip file with the HTML. Uh, that was basically the only way I could figure out how to return multiple files in the response. But I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I just wanted to go ahead and try and find a quick fix. So I went ahead and just deployed really quickly, hosted it on Heroku, and uh, it's pretty much done now. So I don't have to be part of the process at all. And I find that pretty exciting too. So what are the takeaways? The takeaways are uh, coding is really powerful, number one. Number two, you can use code to automate boring or annoying stuff in your job. I would say in pretty much any office job, there's gonna be those kind of things. So look for those kind of opportunities. Uh, people sometimes ask what programming language to get started with. I think JavaScript is a good one, but Python is the world's most popular programming language supposedly, and there's a great book called automate the boring stuff with Python that goes into more detail and gives more examples about all the things that you can use programming languages to do. So in conclusion, I don't think everyone needs to know how to code, but if you do know how to code, you can begin bringing value pretty immediately, I would say, to most jobs. And so that is a reason to learn how to code, not to become a software engineer, but just to automate things and to make your day-to-day -day life easier. And solving those problems are the kind of thing that really tends to get me excited. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. So I would encourage you to look around and just try and figure out what are some things in my day-to-day -day life that I can automate. And chances are it could be done. If you have questions, let me know below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.